This is calculator question number 24 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board tells us that line L has slope 2, and they ask, if line K is perpendicular, which of these four could be the equation of line K? We know that if M equals 2, the slope of a perpendicular is negative 1 over the slope, negative 1 over m is negative 1 over 2. So I'll find the slope of each of these and see which one has slope negative 1 half. If I take negative 10x minus 5y equals 20, add 10x to both sides, negative 5y equals 10x plus 20, divide by negative 5, y equals negative 10 over 5 is negative 2, x minus 4. And this has slope negative 2, not negative 1 half, so choice A is not correct. What about B? 3x minus 6y equals 14. Subtract 3x from both sides. Negative 6y equals negative 3x plus 14. Divide by negative 6 y equals negative 3 over ne negative 6 is positive 1 half x minus 14 over 6. Slope is positive 1 half. I need negative 1 half to be per perpendicular. If I sketch a positive 1 half slope and a positive 2, the positive 2 looks something like this, positive 1 half looks like that. They are not perpendicular. What about choice C? Again, I'm looking for a slope of negative 1 half. And I have 4x minus 2y equals 17. Subtract 4x from both sides. Negative 2y equals negative 4x plus 17. Divide by negative 2. y equals negative 4 over negative 2 is positive 2x minus 17 halves. Slope is 2, not negative 1 half. So I'll try choice D. C is wrong. I'll cross it out so I don't forget I checked it. D gives me 6x plus 12y equals 36. Subtract 6x from both sides. Always do the same thing to both sides of an equation. 12y equals negative 6x plus 36. Divide by 12. y equals negative 6 over 12 is negative 1 half x plus the slope is negative 1 half, which is perpendicular to a line of slope 2, so choice D would be the correct answer. College Board does not always ask about perpendicular lines, but they have asked it multiple times. You need to remember that per perpendicular lines, the slope of one is negative 1 over the slope of the other, or that the product of the two slopes is negative 1. Come back soon for my next math video, with math there's always more.